Hello you cool cats and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. Uh, the girls appear to be locked up and um, we're going to see, uh, we're going to see what's happening. Damn it! They take away my stun gun, then they stuff me into this dusty room. It's all her fault. I hope she chokes on a fish she caught herself. Is that a is that an idiom that I don't understand? Oh, I guess I don't want her to actually die. Ugh. I gotta focus on Master Biakia now. Not that stupid idiot. I can't just stay trapped in a place like this. I gotta hurry and save me. I, I gotta save. Th th that was close. I was about to sneeze there. Ugh, I can't take this dust anymore. I gotta find Omaru and... Yeah, seriously, why am I thinking about her at a time like this? So irritating. When you contacted Future Foundation, the kids must have honed in on you. They tailed you, and you brought them right back here! It's all your fault! You- We already saw that. <laughs> all my fault. Everyone got hurt because of me. He's right. If I didn't insist on coming back here... And if I had just tried harder, if I were a better person, I could have protected them. I couldn't do it because I'm weak. Did I? Did I actually let someone die? <laughs> well, I mean, like in the mini game. I guess I won't be showing you the entirety of the the thing because that would be it, it. It just would be waste of time. <laughs> it's just like Toko said. I'm so. Weak. I kept saying, I can't do anything. Always relying on others. I never even thought about saving others. And now this happens. <laughs> sneak, sneak. Sneakity sneak. Tra la la. Why, hello there. Uh, hi. My name is Katoko Hatsugi. I'm the fighter in the Warriors of Hope. Formerly known as Lil Ultimate Drama. Well, not like it matters at all. Open Sesame! <laughs> Woohoo! Is that a Sorry teeth for the intrusion. Gun? Thank you very much. Phew! I reached way back for that reference. I had to deal with baby boomers all the time, so my gags are kind of dated. And speaking of old. Ugh. <sighs> Just thinking about what that meant when she said that. Oh, I can't think of any follow-up. I must be nervous. <sighs> My heart is racing faster than 16 shots a second. Master Takahashi would be proud. Um. Yeah, yeah, I already know what you want to say. You were going to tell me a fighter should be a boy. And speaking of boys, I've heard some people say that slugs don't have a gender. But actually, slugs have both male and female bodies at once. People who go around spreading half-assed lies about slugs deserve swift punishment. Fighter kick! Fighter punch! Chaka! Hacha! Uh. That's what I told them, that I didn't want to be fighter because I'm not good at PE. I mean, I am really good at physical education, no, though. No, please. Don't How about do you? this. You good at health and physical education? Is that... Is that even a subject you can be good at? There are no girls who dislike health and physical education. That's my theory, anyway. Stare... What? Truth is, I'm actually here to hunt you down. But I changed my mind. I'll let you escape. What? It's not like my feelings about demons have changed any. I still hate them deeply. I still want to kill them all in the most painful, cruel way possible. 
Like, for example, drowning them in a septic tank or putting a razor under their fingernails. I mean, I get why, but... But that's not even enough. I hate them with full power. But anywho, despite my hatred, the reason I let you escape was because you are super adorbs. Hmm? Huh? I love adorable things. I collect everything adorbs, from faucets to toilet seats. So I'm going to let an adorable girl like you go. Really? Because I don't buy it. Really? There is one catch. You're the only one allowed to leave. Four Eyes over there is not cute at all. W what? But shh, keep it a secret, especially from the sage Nagisa. He's super strict with rules. Nagisa says I can't even drink soda during meals. It's not my fault the food is so tasteless. I mean, he could at least let me have a little. Tells me to drink milk, even if I'm eating cereal. It's like drinking curry soup with your curry. Uh. Anyway, let's go. Go on, get out before those chumps notice. But, but I can't be the only one to go. I can't just abandon all the people here. Oh, something wrong? Is your red flower blooming? Or maybe you just like locked rooms? Like you're a murder mystery enthusiast? I can't just leave Toko behind. Well, I can understand a little hesitation. Why don't you just leave the cell for now? Come on, just step on out. Girls are more adorable if they're a teensy bit selfish. What sort of trap do you have outside the room? Oh, and you're just gonna straight up do it, huh? And now... Hiya! <laughs> this is a denture launcher! So how about it? Pretty sweet machine, right? The smooth shaft, oh. the fresh pink color, oh, no, the brutal no, no. yet hypnotizing shine! God help me. <laughs> it's so adorbs I just can't stand it! Ah, by the way, my dad was a dentist. And also, Papa was always cheating with his dental assistant. Oh. But I guess he had an inferiority complex because he always role-played as a brain surgeon. Yes, a great daddy indeed. Neglecting his business and making me earn money instead. A perfect Papa who I could kill over and over and over and it still wouldn't have been enough. this I can't move Ooh, your sleepy face is super adorbs i bet your face is cute even halfway through swimming a stroke uh however being adorbs isn't always a good thing cute girls go through terrible things and if you're adorable too you have to protect yourself on your own if you can't, you have to take whatever they give you. It's a shitty rule, but I didn't make it. Adults did. <sighs> so be prepared for that life. What was the point of all this? Why would you do this? <laughs> w was someone just talking about me? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Master Biakia must have been talking about me! I wonder what he's doing while he's calling my name. Jeez! Master is such a perv. <laughs> I can't just stay put here! I gotta get out of here! And help Master out! Uh, also, uh, in a different way. That laugh. Did you break that with your scissors? Uh, hey, Dekomaru! Let's go see Master now! If you are of use to me, I'll buy you ramen! I'll even add seaweed for you as a top! Uh, hey, she ain't here! Now that's committing to a joke! <laughs> uh, strange, though. 
Her scent's still here. Did she perhaps run away on her own? What? A gun? Oh, the stun gun? Is the... that like a GPS for Dekomaru's wristband? I see. This'll be good for tailing her. Anyway, you want me to chase after her, don't you? But why are you giving this splendid gift to an enemy like me? Is it perhaps that the other me has some annoying plan hidden up her sleeve, huh? Well, doesn't matter. Our goal is probably the same anyway. <laughs> Gosh. Ah, uh, no, no, huh? no, sir. No, now oh, then, God. let's begin with the motivation. No. Please. Nope. Not gonna happen. Switch on. What? What is this? Ah! No! What is this? Come on, come on, come on. Let me hear that adorable voice. Hell no! Oh my god. Sorry to disturb you while you're, um, busy. It's time for a tutorial. You can fight away the tentacles with the X button and the directional buttons. Tentacles will also attack from outside the screen. Use the right stick to switch the display. Letting Kumaro get groped increases the heart meter. You know what that represents, right? God. If it fills all the way, it's game over. So enjoy yourself, but, you know, keep that in mind. I will not enjoy myself. Oh, God. Time to begin the motivation! Oh, God. Oh, Please, God. No. Oh, God. No, no, no. Get, get away. You like this? Huh? Oh, God. You like it, don't you? Oh, God. Oh, God. No. No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. No! Achievement unlocked, keeping the ratings down. Oh my goodness. My, my, you're persistent. But we're just getting started. You're going to be slowly but surely motivated. Please, enough already. Ooh, you're so sexy. I've heard women are the best just before they're ripe, but this is beyond my expectations. Help me out of this. But when they rot, they become demons. I have to figure out the perfect timing. Stop it! Why are you doing this? That's what I always asked. I asked them many, many times. The answer was always, because I'm cute! I'm not a bad girl. This is just payback for what happened to me. Uh, get it on the people who did it to you then! Leave me out of it! If you think this is wrong, then what the adults did to me is wrong too, right? Yeah! Both are wrong! And if that's the way it is, there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> uh. oh, oh. Put that lewd body of yours to work, and you'll never go hungry! By the way, this is the opposite of child porn, so it's A-OK -okay to put in a video game! That's not no A-OK! -okay. Help! What? Isn't it... <laughs> Is it wrong for a kid to be doing this? But it's wrong for adults to be doing this too, right? Both are no good. If you're slapped on the right cheek, slap them on the left, as they say. No! No! Toko, save us. <laughs> Or what? 
that? It's going like 35 miles an hour! Oh, why is it so fast? Is the Earth spinning away without me? Huh? <laughs> Bingo! I see, so that's it. Oh, monorails are a first for me. <laughs> totally pumped me. Oh my god. I don't know. Just go through the so, doors. It's a robot versus serial killer, huh? Oh, we should write bye bye, Hanakuma. Gonna run. Ah! It's been so long since I've been in such a hot ride. Chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> Cider show so much, it would help me. <laughs> hey, don't make that face, or else. 
course you'll end up in a far more vulgar situation. getting captured by some little runt. I thought you wouldn't come. I mean, right after we had that fight. Fight? What the hell are you talking about? I just want to save Master Byaku. <laughs> Toku, I was so scared. <laughs> <laughs> What's this unexpected girl-on-girl -girl development? Whoa there, lady! I ain't got that kind of taste! Get off me! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I... I tried to leave you. I tried to run away. And I said such horrible things, like... That you don't have any friends. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry, Toko. I have no right to accept that apology. Huh? You seriously are stupid. Why the hell are you trusting a serial killer? What? What happened? Nothing. Nothing at all. Satisfaction! Oh. What, what, what is going on here? Right? Look at this room. Um, let's just go for now. It would be a hassle to explain. Y yeah oky I don't really get it, but I definitely don't want to be down here anymore. Kamaru Naegi? More like, Kamaru Naegi. <laughs> oh, come on. That wasn't even clever. Uh... <gasps> Sparkle! Oh, I was just going back here to check, but... Memoirs of Kotoko Us Us Usuji. Utsuji. Lame, so lame. Why are the bodies of demons not adorbs at all? Like, their bodies are bigger for no reason. They're not even filled with adorbs things inside. It's like an egg that has nothing inside. Empty Dumpty. I should kill them all just for that. Speaking of eggs, there are two ways to write egg in Japanese, but you can use the words in different ways. The first egg means shelter from where life is born. The other egg means a cooking ingredient. Woohoo! Is a trivia just adorbs? Was there any other sparkles? Any other sparkles? Any other? No. Okay. Let's move on. Oh my gosh. To you, I did manage to get myself a new outfit, but you wrecked the moving fighter castle. I feel furiously angry. You have seriously made me mad. Your face doesn't really match up with what you're saying. This is acting, after all. Inside my heart, I can't help but feel unlucky. Okay, so this arena has water in it. I'm guessing that I'm gonna have to do something with the electric gun. Speaking of unlucky, you really should have let me motivate you a little more. You could have felt so good. Your mind would have been blown. You'd become so twisted. I don't want that to happen. Oh? You're going to abandon the responsibility of being a dwarps? That's not fair. Being a dwarps means being an object of jealousy, being called ugly bitch, or told to die. If that doesn't happen, being a dwarps just isn't worth it. I think what you're describing is called undue resentment. And another thing, Omaru is not as cute as you say she is. She's like slightly above average. <laughs> I'll take that. Undue resentment? 
No, no, no. This is the work of demons. All I wanted was to be the same as everyone else. A normal kid who didn't stand out. But she used me to get her dream. Even if it meant going to market with me. Ugh. Well, the guys who wanted that are to blame, too. Business with a mother and daughter set? How perverted can adults be? Oh, my mistake. I meant demons, not adults. Seriously, I'm so ashamed of myself for actually listening to what those ugly demons used to say. But everything's changed now. As someone who knows what makes adults happy, I also know the things they don't want. Using what I've learned, I can take down the demons and make them suffer as much as I did. N not all adults are like that. There are good people who... Then why didn't anyone save me? <sighs> if the world is so good, why didn't anyone help me escape? God, I'm sorry. Well, doesn't matter. What I said just now, that wasn't how I really feel. That was acting. That was the best acting ever. Just leave it to the former child acting genius. And a perfect performance is easy as cake. Mm -hmm. And also, I've been saved by Big Sis Junko anyway. Th that name again? I'm sick of hearing that name. Oh? Does Miss Ugly Glasses over there happen to know Big Sis Junko? <gasps> Miss Ugly Glasses? You guys have no idea. You don't know how horrifying that woman really is. You were fooled. I don't know how she convinced you that she was some sweet, gentle girl, but... G gentle Oh, no. Gentle! Please! Stop with the gentle! When they're gentle, I... I get all flinchy! No! I don't want gentle! I don't... To it. This doesn't look like acting. No! I don't want gentle! I don't want any more gentle! Ugh. I... I said I... <gasps> Anything but gentle. Really? Turn! Turning! A swiftly 
tilting world! Right. Why? Am I about to lose to a demon? Kids can't win against adults? Oh my god. That was really hard, actually. going to get you to talk. Where is Master Byakia? What are you doing to that child? How immature of you. No, I guess it is rather demonic in a way. Ganging up and abusing a child. It's like a special skill all you adults have. Whatever! Your mono kids were about to abduct her and do who knows what. Nagisa! What? Abuse? You guys are the ones who started all this. All we want is a peaceful paradise. Where children can live without fear. Don't make me laugh. You've been using those monokumas this whole time to murder adults. She's right. If all you wanted was a peaceful paradise, you shouldn't have done it like this. There is no other choice. We must kill them. If we allow them to live, our paradise will be undone. And if that happens, we will be forced to endure our pain once more. Nothing will change. We can never be at peace until we have wiped out every single one of them. So we have to kill the demons to protect our world. That sounds like something from a damn video game. Have you lost your mind, kid? Yeah, you're probably right. We've all gone mad. Masaru, Jotaro, Kotoko, Monica. We're probably all insane. Broken. But whose fault is that? The adults are the ones who broke us. Yes and yes. <laughs> Nagisa. You want to hear the truth? We're scared. We're all terrified of the adults. Hearing their footsteps. Sensing their presence. We can't help but feel scared. Completely terrified. As long as adults exist, we cannot rest. We cannot live in peace. Newsflash, you will eventually become adults. At this point, the damage is irreversible. I... I figured that something I thought was behind all of this. But no matter how pitiful you are, it doesn't mean that you can hurt others. To just treat them how they treated you? That's just going to make everyone equally miserable. So you're saying we should just take it? You're saying we should abandon all hope? Hope? No. It's fine. Let's end this already. I want you to leave this town. Huh? You want to run away, right? You want to escape the city, right? Then I will let you leave. Satisfied? Nagisa, are you sure? It's my decision. As leader. But what about Monica? I'll persuade her. Hold on. Are you seriously saying you're just gonna let her go? Until you two arrived, our revolution was progressing smoothly. I don't want you to interfere any longer. So please, just get out of here. Stay away from us, please! Doing. All right, all done. Yay! Mom
Monica's very own special made magic circle. How did you draw that? <laughs> oh, you're awfully chipper. Well, of course. Everything is going swimmingly. Did you, like, crawl on the ground and draw it? Spinny, spin, spin. The world is spinning, and Monica's at the center. Everything is all thanks to my wonderful allies, playing their part and doing their best. Looks like time's winding down. Just a little bit longer and we'll have a brand new successor on our hands. <laughs> a second generation Junko and Ashima, huh? Well, things are getting pretty interesting around here. <laughs> Okay, good. I still got the A. As expected of the woman I entrusted with my life, it was not wrong of me to believe in you. Hmm? Why the surprised expression? You idiot. You're the only one I trust. Don't you know that by now? Taint skill re-race. Achievement unlocked. You merely broke my life. 